Andy Mogul. Oh, it's Monday already? Well, I guess that means a new episode of Backyard Effects. I'm Zach Finfrock, your host, and today it's all about a police taser. <laughs> So one of my recent favorite movies, The Hangover, there was a really funny scene involving a police taser. Stop! Stop! In the face! In the face! It's a really cool non-lethal alternative for your movie. I'm going to show you how to make the taser itself, and then show you how to shoot with it using the classic whip pan method that's also featured in a pass build with the throwing knife into the forehead. Let's find out how much this police taser is going to cost. Hey puppet, ah! 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 What happened to you? A hobo bit me in the head on the way to work today. Oh, you, you okay? Uh, I just feel a little under the weather. Oh, all right, well just spin the wheel. Elastic string, furniture protectors, a spray grip, toy gun, ping pong ball shooter from a party store, electrical tape, quarter inch screws, magnets, black spray paint, razor pens, hot glue gun, and a Dremel. This build's difficulty level is four. The first thing you need to do is separate the large box area of the pop shooter from the rest of the gun itself. I did this using the Dremel. I carefully cut along the edges and then sanded to make it nice and smooth. I did this to both sides. Next, you need to take the spray grip and cut the round part from the front so it's just a grip and a trigger. After that, take apart the toy gun and decide what pieces you want to use from it for the taser. Go ahead and cut those off and get them ready to glue. To cover the hole on the ping pong ball pop shooter, I used a furniture protector. All I did was cut the plastic pieces off so it fit nice and snug and then glued it on the top. After that, I realized my original method that I was going to use to have the strings come out of the gun wasn't going to work, so I had to improvise. I found an old battery housing that I was using for an electronic piece and decided to use that for the front of the gun. But I decided to do magnetic so it's easy to take this on and off. What I first did for the battery housing is cut the end off, put the elastic string through the holes, and put two magnets on the back. Next, I took two additional magnets and glued them to the inside of the taser itself. So once I assembled the gun and glued it all together, I had an easy magnetic solution to my problem. The final steps on the gun are to do a black coat of paint, take yellow electrical tape and do the striped effect for the caution areas, and the gun is done. For the bolts that get shot into the person when you fire the taser, it's simply just the quarter inch screws wrapped with white electrical tape with the elastic string on the other end. And then you use the magnet to connect them through a shirt. And that's it. Please taser for cheap. Now, when you're going to actually do this on camera, make sure your actors have a safe area to fall into. The last thing you really want is for them to act like they're getting tased and then slam their head on a table or something like that. It would go from really funny to probably still funny, but then not funny real quick. So that's something you want to watch out for. Excuse me, do you have the uh, time? Ah! <laughs> 
Leave a comment below like normal. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to work. If you need a lean out your mouth effect, use the cherry. It costs like three dollars for a bag, and it looks very realistic.